You've got an Instant Pot, and you just watched my video on activating your yogurt starter culture. And you really don't want to have to make three batches of yogurt back to back. Well, I've got a way to do it quicker with this one ingredient, but it will take a little planning, which I've kind of done for you if you choose to do so. Let me show you. Hey y'all, I'm Renee, and welcome to Tater Town. Yogurt making really is simple and easy, and it can save you a ton of money over store-bought yogurt. But if you're using an Instant Pot and this one ingredient, you can activate those tiny bacteria and get your homemade yogurt journey started even quicker. And what is this one ingredient I'm talking about? It's ultra high temperature milk or UHT milk. That's the type of milk that is shelf stable. So the milk you see in the regular grocery store aisles, not in the cooler section. You know, the stuff like Parmalat or I know I'm naming brands, but uh, this just happens to be one that sometimes I have. Now we're not talking ultra pasteurized. You need to make sure it is ultra high temperature. Now this milk is more expensive than the regular milk you'll get in your the cooler section, but it's going to save you time on the activation process and you really don't need a lot of it. Um, in fact, you could probably get away with one or two of this size. These are eight ounces each. So I think if you had two of them, you'd be good to go, but it's going to save you time on the activation process. And you certainly can use this method with regular milk, but you're going to have to heat and cool the milk before for each step, just like you do in the regular activation process. But for the sake of simplicity, we're gonna use UHT milk. The key here is timing. There's about 12 hours between each step. So here's a sample of how I did it to fit into my schedule. So the first day at 10 p.m., I placed 100 milliliters or approximately three and a half ounces of that UHT milk into a jar with a half packet of the dried culture. And then I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator for 12 hours. The next morning, this is day two, at 10 a.m., I remove the jar from the fridge and stir up and mash the flakes. Then I'm gonna add another 50 milliliters or 1.7 ounces of UHT milk and stir. Put the jar in the Instant Pot for 12 hours on the low yogurt setting, which is about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. At 10 p.m. on day two, that same day, I'm gonna add another 100 milliliters or three and a half ounces of UHT milk and stir it in. Then it goes back into the Instant Pot on the low yogurt setting for nine to 12 hours. You see what I'm doing here? I'm doing it so that the evening it goes in for nine to 12 hours so it can do its thing while I'm sleeping. All right, day three. At 7 a.m., this is after nine hours of incubating overnight, I am going to start checking to see if the consistency and tanginess is how I like it, or in this case, that you like. You're wanting to see that it kind of sticks to the sides of the jar if it's still loose, or it's not as tangy or tart as you might prefer it to be, keep it in the Instant Pot until it is. You usually get there by the 12 hour mark, so just keep checking. And if it goes past the 12 hours, it's okay. This just means that the bacteria will keep multiplying and make it a very tangy yogurt. So if you like it like that, by all means do it. When you're done, put it in the refrigerator to cool for about four hours and that's it. Super quick and easy, Instant Pot yogurt activation. If you wanna keep this bacteria alive and keep making fresh, homemade, healthy yogurt at home for a fraction of the cost of store-bought, be sure to watch my way more in-depth video listed in the in-video links. And if you find this helpful or any of my videos, please consider liking it and subscribing to the Tater Town channel. I very much appreciate it, and it helps me to keep making this kind of content that will help you to do those things you never thought you would or could do. And thanks again for joining me here on Tater Town.